Good day! Are you able to find the missing number to this unique puzzle with two solutions? One in the rows and the other in a column. The numbers in the puzzles are 1, 2, 3 in the first row, 4, 5, 6 in the second row, 7, 8, 9 in the third row, and 11, 26 and the question mark in the final row. So what are the numbers? I said numbers because there are two solutions that can be represented by the question mark. If you want to have a go at this puzzle, press the pause button now. But if you want to know the two solutions, keep watching. Welcome back to this unique puzzle with two solutions. The numbers in the first rows are 1, 2, 3, second row 4, 5, 6, third row 7, 8, 9, and in the final row 11, 26 and a question mark. As I said before, there are two solutions to this puzzle. So the two solutions are working one in the column and the other one in terms of row. So we're going to start with the row. So to get the rows, it's very simple. You just add the first number and the last number. So 1 plus 3 is 4. You divide by 2 will give you 2. The second point, 4 and 6, when you add them up, becomes 10 divided by 2 will give you 5. And then 7 plus 9 is 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8. So the first answer for the question mark, 11 plus a number will give you 26. So 11 plus a number, and then that number divided by 2, the total divided by 2 will give you 26. So the first number is going to be 41. 11 plus 41 is 52. 52 divided by 2 is 26. So the first solution is 41. The next solution is found by doing the column. So 147 equal to 11, 258 equal to 26, 369 equal to question mark. So what you do, you are just going to add 4 plus 7 is 11, then you multiply by 1, that gives you 11. 8 plus 5 is 13, 13 multiplied by 2 will give you 26. And last but not least, you got 6 plus 9 is going to be 15 times 3. And the second answer is 45. So I believe most of you will get the two answers, 41 or 45. You get it right. Well done. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone. And have a good day.